I think Act Partners and users alike are celebrating the fact that Act is becoming more and more platform agnostic. That is to say that we recognise people want to access their corporate data wherever they are on whatever device. So rather than having to use a, a, a PC with a Windows operating system now, you can access via browser on a broad range of uh, browsers, uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, but also on a mobile device on pretty much any device that is Internet enabled. And this is thanks to HTML5 technology within the coding for the web interface of ACT, which means if you log on to ACT through a mobile, it orients the screen uh, according to that device, whether it's an iPad or an Android or an iPad phone uh, and that's been the case for the past two or three years but with each new release of ACT uh, that functionality has been improved so the experience that users enjoy in a mobile device is closer to desktop functionality and that's been extended further with ACT 16 by including uh, company and group management among other things in the mobile interface so let's just log on through the HTML5 interface as you would see it on a mobile device I've oriented this one to be more like a, a smartphone than a, than a tablet. So if I click on groups, I can go to list all the groups within my database. And of course, I can scroll through them or I can put in a few characters and perform a universal search on the groups. If I key in hot and click go, there are two groups beginning or containing the phrase hot. I can go into the hot deals group. And there are a number of actions I can perform here. I can schedule an activity for the group. I can record a new note, a group note or a group history. Or in fact, I can delete this group if I have the uh, authority to do, given my user level and control over that group. Um, under the details tab, I can see more information. I can bring into that view any fields, standard fields, custom fields about the group that I might want to see. Under the who, of course, I get the names of all the people in that group. Um, and then under related items, I can see past activities recorded against that group, notes, histories, opportunities associated with the group. So I can click in and go and analyze each one of those individual notes or histories if I wish to do so. Uh, the other group activity I can initiate from here is I can actually send an email directly to everybody in that group. So upon doing that, it'll open up a new email in my email client whatever it is on android or iphone and populate the two line with all the email addresses of every member of that group and proceed to record a history within the database of the email that i'm about to send as you can see here of course i can uh, annotate that history with some description or details of it it's going to grab the date and the time and, and my name is the person that recorded the history as you might expect so group management from a mobile device within the act html5 uh, premium for web mobile client same applies to companies i can click on companies and list all the company records that uh, are in my database and drill down into any one of those companies and as before I can see the people that are members of that company. I can look at company histories, company notes, company opportunities. So working in association with that new part of the system that is the uh, streamlined company management uh, f feature, uh, this is really a, a powerful shift towards ACT being a, a, a true contact and company management uh, platform. Now to extend the functionality a little further in conjunction with the company management, if I were to add a new contact record to the system within the mobile interface, the company management feature is effective as well. So let's say um, I create a new contact on my iPhone for Sam Spade who works for CH Holding. As I create the record, I just put some very basic information in here. The system will recognize that CH Holding already exists and as it creates the contact record, it automatically links Sam Spade to the company CH Holding. So that's dynamic company management interface within the mobile device as well. Um, I'm not limited to just viewing existing groups and companies within the system. I can create new records as well. So if I want to create a new group, I use the plus in the top right hand corner of the system and uh, I can just give the group a name, Will's Test Group, and a description as you would if you were creating a group within the main database. Now under the Who, I can determine which contacts are members of the group. There is some basic uh, dynamic criteria I can use based upon the ID status field. Uh, 
You see here I can select from the drop down or key in an ID status value and the system will automatically add to this group all contacts where uh, the, uh, uh, the ID status matches the value I type in here or I can manually add contacts to the group. So pretty similar to what I would do is if I was in a, a normal desktop or, or full browser screen based version of the application. So once I've determined who's in the group, let's say all the people whose ID status is a consultant. Click on save and the group's created and those members are added to the group. Now the optimization of uh, Act for Mobile also includes a split screen view if I'm looking on a tablet. So the example that I'm using here is based upon a smartphone form factor, but if you're using a tablet, be it an iPad or an Android based tablet for example, there is a new split screen interface that will automatically present itself to you, just giving you a bit more control, visibility of more components of the ACT interface, uh, taking advantage of the fact that you've got a tablet screen and not just a smartphone. So that's the new ACT Premium Mobile Enhancements, which are intended to drive further productivity for ACT users in the field.